Okay guys, hello and welcome back to a pretty cool and special explore. Uh, we are under the streets of Manchester, in a place that Manchester Council themselves say don't exist. But it does, because we're here. Uh, uh, this is a World War II underground like air raid shelter and tunnels, especially in abandoned subway, and supposed to be tons and tons. These tunnels run for a very, very long way, and we're here to explore them. I'm so excited, it's gonna be amazing. So, I'm not gonna tell you how we got in, I'm not gonna show you where the way in is either, um, because we don't want you guys coming down or anyone else, because it's pretty dangerous down there, don't be all hurt themselves or whatever, or trashing the place. But let's get to it, let's get exploring. Also, I don't have the most appropriate shoes of these, I meant to change them before we came here, and I completely forgot to do it, so. Yeah, they're going to look lovely by the end of the night. <laughs> so we've got Neil with us, we've got Steph and we've got Warren. Go and check all these guys out because they're going to have a different perspective on this video and it's going to be so freaking awesome. Right guys, so the bit we're in right now is a medical post. Um, again, I don't know much information about this. We've, we tried to cover information before we came in and there really isn't very much because, like I said, the council are actually denying that this place exists altogether. Uh, each one of these has uh, like arches because obviously these these rooms aren't necessarily arches. The room, the doorway isn't, but when you come in the room, it is an actual archway that goes across. Um, so each one of these is labelled with uh, whatever arch number it was. And I actually love finding like old wood signs and like, writing on wood signs because it just this really looks like World War Two, so rustic and authentic. It is amazing. Love it. Old bottle there. Old bottle. Oh, is that? Yeah. Got no label on it, but what's that say? What's oh, a milk? It's a milk bottle. This is pasteurised milk. It's an old mug there, part of that little mug. Huh. It's like a nappy cup. Wow. Chilly, uncomfortable. Everybody getting temperamental. That one was a bit near. So above us, there's actually uh, air ventilation systems running all the way along. <laughs> we really have to try and remember where we came in because this place is a bit of a maze. See the ventilation above you, though. Yeah, I know. You should see it. No, it's like torn in places as well, like it's rusted away. So guys, we're in probably the biggest room I've come in so far. It's really, really tall. But what I will say is I'm, I'm pretty sure this is beneath a road because I can hear cars going on above, like I can hear buses uh, with their air brakes, and I can hear cars braking. No, that's, a, that's not a shower, that's a light fitting. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's a light fitting, it's got a bayonet hook on it for, for a light bulb. It's a pretty cool storage room as well. It's it a massive storage room. And as oh you can see, God. the Urimans are still in it. Oh and, my God. Yeah, and the actual one, um, the shitters are still in there as well. The shitters, I love that. <laughs> the actual, what do you actually call these? Cubicles. Cubicles, yeah. yeah. The cubicles are still there as well, explorers. So guys, we've just come to this, this gate with like a, it really looks like a tube style gate. But if you look down, these, these must have been at some point been public toilets. Because look, fuck me, I'm sorry. I know that some guys don't like the swearing, I'm sorry, but this is, when you see something like this and you're not expected to, that's the reaction you have. What does that say? I can see it better on camera. It says, Oni, Oni Hawaiian? Mm -hmm. pa oh, paper towels. Oh, is it? Oh, this is, yeah, it's a towel dispenser. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a really old towel dispenser. Have you seen the old toilet seats? Have you actually been in one of these yet? They're like wooden toilet seats. Is there an old ancient pool in there? <laughs> no, but it's, uh, it's like literally like old wooden toilet seats. Do the hinges still work? Yeah, yeah. they still work. 
I'll tell you, the liquid damp side more comfortable than the plastic shitty ones you get now. <laughs> so guys, I'm guessing because that was the toilets, this area probably would have been, um, I'm guessing, storage for things like toilet roll and all sorts of other stuff. I'm not really sure. Um, it's a bit of a strange thing to have connected to a toilet, but I'm assuming if they have st storage, it's going to be for that kind of stuff. This is incredible. It almost is like finding a time capsule. And this is all under the streets of Manchester. People above our heads just walking past and don't even know what's beneath them. Step on these bits here. Yeah. Because there's the brick underneath it. Oh, Ooh, that's very yeah. Good. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, quite a stinks down yeah. there. Stinks. When you come down there, make sure you step in the steps with the bricks underneath because they're quite soft. So we've got an old uh, switch box, electrics box, just there, which is pretty cool. Very derelict, very decayed, very rusted, definitely beyond use. Need to go to a tool station to fix that up. <laughs> <laughs> is that a safe? Oh, I know what that for, is it? Check this out. That is a big safe. You may have just found a safe. Is there any treasure in it? Yes, there is. Jack Daniels. <laughs> Happy days. Jack Daniels, and I don't know what that other drink is. Soplica. Soplica. I'm not too sure, but that's amazing. <laughs> Obviously, it's not from World War times, but... Uh, uh, I still count that as treasure. It's still, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, I think this is actually the foundations of a building. This bit we're in now, which is like new concrete, so the whole lot is like new concrete. Uh, this is actually the foundation of a building that obviously stands above us. So uh, they've obviously just built in this particular space. It's even writing from when I've obviously built it before. Which way? I think the entrance is supposed to be more that way. Right, obviously, the other side of that concrete wall. Oh, yeah, you can't get that. Lots of water. <laughs> it smells very damp. Is this where that running water is coming from? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Look at that. This is actually uh, waste water, literally just flowing straight through this place. Do not want to fall in that. It absolutely stinks. I don't know if you guys can see this. Hopefully, this current camera is very. Can you see all the dust? And I haven't got a mask at all, which is terrible, I should have a mask down here. But this on the wall up here, again, there's these massive rods, which we saw in another room. These are structural rods to make sure that this place doesn't fall down, because obviously there's places above this, and obviously if it did fall down, there'd be a lot of issues. And it looks like they've sealed up a door over there, which again has more structural rods through. Um, and there's just basically rubble on the floor over here, so I, I, can't, I can't get over there. There's no other doors anywhere else, so this is just, just a dead end anyway. So, not too worried. Okay guys, so we're gonna head back to where the toilets are because when we first came in, and Neil and I went left, but there's also a right to this. I think we've pretty much covered most of what we could find down the left-hand side, so we're gonna go and check out the right-hand side.
Hope you guys enjoyed that explore. Uh, it was a very interesting place to go. There wasn't as much as we were hoping to see there, but there were some incredible pieces of like history just left abandoned completely. Um, just need to let you know that at the end of that, there was a bit I didn't film because I had my camera in my pocket. Uh, basically, when we came out of the entrance, the access point, um, one, we nearly got stuck. Like I said at the beginning, it was quite easy for people to get stuck and someone actually had done that recently. And the reason we know that is because as we came out of the access point, police were there. There was police, there was um, PCSOs and police as well. Uh, and basically, they were very surprised to see four people just appearing out of nowhere. And uh, <laughs> I think the look of shock in their face was just, it was just priceless. I, I really wish I was filming it because you could just tell they weren't expecting to see that. Um, but they didn't know what to do with us because we hadn't exactly done anything wrong. They were just kind of like, oh my god, these people have just appeared. So uh, they had to let us go. They were just like, don't do it again. But they did tell us that they've had to be at this particular place quite a few times because people have got stuck. When that happens, they have to call the fire brigade and all sorts of stuff. They did say that they were there the whole time, like literally from when we went in, they knew that we could possibly need help. So they'd waited for us to come out. Um, we were there for over two hours, so I, I don't think that's true. And especially seeing as they had the massive shock look on their face when we came out, they weren't expecting to see us. Uh, but it was just, it was pretty funny. Um, but yeah, please don't follow us, don't go to this location because it is quite hard and like I said, very easy to trap yourself in, which even we nearly did, so uh, don't go to the location. But I hope you've enjoyed this video, that's pretty much it for today because um, it's very late, we've got to go back home tomorrow, it's the last day of the road trip, I'm sad, it's actually been a really fun road trip this time. I mean last time was fun when we did it with like Steve Ronan, but it was very stressful moving around from place to place, this one's been quite nice because we've chilled, relaxed and basically had some fun. Uh, we even had like a fun day which was awesome, so it is kind of sad that it's coming to a close but all good things have to come to an end and tomorrow is the last day. We do have some explorers plans, so hopefully they will come to fruition and they will happen and be awesome. Right now, obviously I don't know because uh, this is literally, I'm recording this the evening before we have to go home. Uh, but you guys will know next time there's a video up on the channel. But for now, I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you again next time. See ya. Time to go home. Everyone's strapped in safe, even Princess Urbex. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, breakfast of champions. Got chicken pasta from the local spa. Don't worry, I'm gonna be sharing it with Princess Airbags as well. Yes, you will. <laughs>